Growing up on the streets of Favela da Rochina in the 40s was no joke. Gang violence everywhere. Children killing each other over the corners they sold drugs on. Among the street kids, 22 was considered old age. Most didn't make it that far. Me? <laughs> I got lucky. I spotted that the gangs kept clear of a, an international mission that distributed food and medicine to the local residents. I used to hang out nearby, staying out of trouble. They noticed me, and soon I was helping out, guiding them through the streets to make deliveries. They took me in and gave me a pretty good education, gave me the chance to make something of myself. Without them, <laughs> I doubt I would have seen my 18th birthday. The mission was in the tallest building in the neighborhood. It was made of brick and was there well before the shanty town that grew up around it. From the roof, I could see for miles. Could watch the half million residents of Roshina going about their lives in the streets below. I love spending my evenings watching them move around, learning the patterns that, that ebb and flow in crowds, you know? I'd move across the rooftops, following people who caught my eye, <laughs> predicting where they were headed and getting ahead of them before acquiring them again. <laughs> I got good at finding my way around too. I was, I was fearless, jumping from roof to roof without a thought I, I might screw up and fall into the streets below. I felt good up there, invincible even. That's when you relax. That's when you stop paying attention. And that's when you make mistakes. One night, I was following one of my targets across town. A bunch of rich city kids out in the favela looking for kicks. I lost them. I was so intent on finding them, I stopped paying attention to where I was. Ended up deep, deep inside the territory of the most notorious drug gang in Roshina. Stupid. I saw a bunch of gangbangers on the street below holding pistols on some rival kids that they had on their knees. Pop, pop, pop. They executed them right there. Shh. I must have made a sound. They looked up, saw me, started shouting. Man, I booked it out of there so fast, as fast as I could. I could hear them chasing me. I had to lose them, you know? I jumped roof to roof, bullets burning past me. I kept, I kept trying to keep cover between us. I was sure I was gonna die. Then it came to me, what I had to do if I wanted to live. I'd lost track of where I was. Maybe they'd do the same. With the gang hot on my heels, I led them across the rooftops before dropping down to street level, right in front of a UPP patrol, the riot cops they sent to keep favelas quiet. <laughs> The kids followed me and were instantly outgunned. Favela Policia, they don't take any chances. The cop who questioned me was ex-army. He was impressed with my agility and the initiative I'd shown. Asked me if I'd consider going into the military. <laughs> I'd never given it a thought. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't have any kind of plan for what I was gonna do with my life. So on my 18th birthday, Armed with a letter of recommendation from the cop, I turned up at a recruitment office. His suspicions were right. The skills I'd learned on the rooftops of the favela got me selected for spec ops training. Ten years later, I'm Winslow Accord Special Forces, currently serving alongside the ZDF in Zurich. Not bad for a kid from the streets, huh? <laughs> Based on the requirements laid out at the start of this procurement process, I'm certain that the intelligence gathered in the dossiers in front of you will lead you to conclude that the eight referenced individuals will be the best subjects for your program. Further, I believe that the plant you specified be placed amongst them will independently verify my findings. As instructed, the intelligence was gathered covertly using a number Are of... Are you certain they were unaware of your surveillance? Yes, sir. I'd stake my reputation. There's more at stake here than your reputation. Sir. Yes, sir. Very well. Leave us. We were never 
are here. We have never spoken. 